everybody motley thank you for popping in we'll catch you uh later on in the stream i'm sure <clears throat> so woke up this morning minus seven outside minus seven wow don't remember it being minus seven at all The world is a bit messed up, isn't it? Okay. <coughs> so, we are in Warsaw, in snowy Warsaw today. Warsaw Chopin. That's uh, Echo Papa Whiskey Alpha. And we are flying over down to uh, the Mediterranean. Uh, Girona, Costa Brava, um, Lima Echo, Golf Echo, and uh, for those who don't know where it is, it is right here. <coughs> so down there, that's where we're going, right there, just north of Barcelona. I don't know what the temperature is out there. Let's have a look. What is the temperature down there now? Uh, it is 13 degrees. That's okay, isn't it? All right. So that's where we are going. Um, from Warsaw. Okay. So we're in lot uh, airlines today. Polish airlines. And uh, let's. Uh, jump into the uh, plane so there we are lovely snow covered um, apron there but yeah let's see okay let's uh, get GSX just to do some ambient stuff request boarding there we go boarding requested okay so they can start doing their thing and we can start powering up the aircraft. Okay, emergency exits. Factory on. 
and uh, ground power is on. Okay. <coughs> nav, nav is done. Okay. So we should be about two and a half hour flight, I think. Uh, yep, two and a half hours. Do you want to board crew? Let's board both. Just keep it real. Pilot's boarding starting. Okay. And uh, let's uh, get some injectors on, shall we? <clears throat> there we are. Okay, entering iris position. Okay, position is lies uh, E. EPWA EPWA We're at gate 18 and Our GPS is initialized There we are Okay <clears throat> Let's pull in the routes Here we are, and select 992 nautical miles. Okay, load. <clears throat> so I'm just also expecting Amazon to turn up at some point. I just got the windows open a little the window shade open a little bit. Your crew has boarded. Passengers boarding starting. Okay. There we are. Oh come on. One second. My seat. <laughs> I've got like a plastic protector to on well oh, I've got carpet so I've got this plastic sheet that I can roll up and down on and that just moved okay what are we doing okay runway is uh, runway 11 I think it was we're leaving on yes we are so runway 11 flight number is uh, lot Three, two, one. There we are. And we can activate that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, departure. Eleven. And we're leaving on the... Um, what are we leaving on? Evan 5... Alpha. Evin 5 Alpha. Execute. And we can put our arrival. Which is uh, Zulu 19, I believe. Yep, Zulu 19. And we're on the uh, BG4F, BGR for Foxtrot. And we're going in on Banal. Banal. Is it Banal? Let's have a look. <coughs> it is Banal. There we are. Execute. Legs. 
Any discos? No. Runways. 500. 500. So 500. And our altitude today is 36,000 feet. 36. There we are. <clears throat> okay. That is good. Uh, our fuel, we can do that as well. 9892. 9892 and our payload morning. 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 108 passengers today only 108 and 2.7 so let's go 1700 Hello. in the rear and 1000 in the front. There we go. So route. We've done the performance. Let's do our performance. So three six zero. Our cruise winds today. <coughs> okay, so let's just go. Let's just pop this in as well. 51 is our cost index. Uh, cruise 274. Slash. 078. Okay. And do we have a transition altitude. At. Uh, Warsaw. Of 6500. Okay, reserves one, and we are good. There we are. Okay, execute. In one limit, it's fine. Take off five degrees. CG. Okay. Next page. We have a dry <coughs> runway, and uh, the wind on the ground is 140 at 10. 140 at 10 and the runway slope is 0.17 so minus zero point oops sorry zero point one seven there we are <coughs> Okay, V1, V rotate, and V2. There we go. 146. There we are. Flight directors are on. Arm, V nav, L nav, 36,000 feet. And runway heading is 108. Okay, good. <coughs> Do we have anything outside? Let's have a look. There's an Air France going. And we got some nutter. Flying what looks like a an A380 generic. <laughs> who is that? Kindred Sky? No, don't know who that is. But look at that. Okay.
Um, all right, so that is all done. Takeoff is done. Let's go legs, root data, and bring in the wind. Okay, load the wind and execute our descent forecast. Let's have a look at uh, our arrival into Liege uh, transition altitude to 6,000. So we'll just make that 8,000, shall we? And um, Request the wind. <clears throat> okay, load and execute. There we are. That's all done and uh okay let's do our q and h is 1010 perfect and we are all sorted i think everyone's left yep yeah, they've all left so uh, we can start the apu let's get rid of the uh, jetway shall we Operate jetway and uh, let's see the doors. Close the door. Okay, good. Jetway's going, it's gone, and uh, we can start the APU. APU's on. Nice clear skies today. We also got clear skies over Europe, in the UK as well. Okay, APU is coming on. Okay, APUs are on. Perfect, ground power off. Let's get the uh, ground services and remove the um, there we are, perfect, done. FMC and uh, we'll just put the uh, takeoff there. Okay, good. Perfect. Let's call for pushback. We are, what are we doing? So we are going to 11. So how do we get to there? Okay, so we have to go nose to the left nose to the left okay yeah oh it's a long old tactic this one okay nose to the left
due to icing conditions. Please stand by until push is completed and brakes are set. <coughs> we won't do the de-icing. So we gotta go that way. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Departure checks completed. Bypass pin inserted. Nose to the left. Nose left. Release parking brakes. Parking brakes released. Commencing push. Due to icing conditions, please stand by until push is completed and brakes are set. Okay, let's pop on the uh, fuel pump damp. Here we go. Okay, and uh, APU bleed. Doesn't look like this machine we left, is it? Really? Set parking brake. Waiting your confirmation for a good engine start. Okay, let's start the engine. Didn't push me properly, did it? Uh, anyway, let's uh, start the engines. AP bleed is on. Engine two. Here we go. And let's start up engine one as well. Here we go. Okay. RTO 
and flaps five. Uh, what was our takeoff? Let's have a look. Five three five one three. There we go. Okay, confirm good engine start. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. Okay, no problem. Actually, we go here and we can go legs in that page. <clears throat> okay, elapsed time. Here we are, and TCAS can come on. And we are ready to get out of here. Truck disconnected. Bypass pin removed. Left is clear. Right is clear. Where is she? No. Ah. Okay, bye bye. Okay, let's start our taxi. Taxi lights, Roman lights. Uh, switch over to engine and engine and APU can go off bleed off auto packs on and we are good okay parking race released and let's start So we are going to go, where are we going? Straight down to the end. Wait there, don't move. Seriously, dude. 
It's like they really just want to drive into us, don't they? Okay, a lot of activity at this airport. Oh, I'll give it that. And we are going straight. And then we're going to turn right. And then we are going to take this left. Straight down the end. Right through the uh, maintenance truck. There we go. Truck strike. And we're going to cross runway 11. And this is our runway.
at least there's not no snow or very minimal icing or snow on the um, actual taxiways in this scenery. It's very nice. So that's where we taxied from. There's the terminal building. Okay. Long old taxi that was. Lights on. Oh, sweet belts. There we go. The chime, all that is good. We can go here. Let's get rid of that. Packs are on. Auto. There we go. Perfect. That is all good. Let's have a look down the line. There we go. T A R A. Let's just change that to. There we go. And we are good. Okay. The uh, Let's go. Five Airspeed's alive. Check. Rotate. 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 Gear up. Oh, good. There we go. And we can... It come on, there we are, and flaps. The flaps one.
There is a. Uh, yeah, there's the runway there. And flaps up. Lock the gear. Unable at BGR. That's okay. And that can go to off. Flaps are up. We are good. Hold on, two seconds, I'll be right back. I think they just dropped off the thing, hold on. Great pulse alarm. These Amazon Amazon drivers, they just uh, they, they knock as quiet as possible and then just dump the parcel on the uh, on the doormat. 
Roger, Rafa James, Rafa James, hello sir, how are you? Yep, my specs, they're okay. It runs all right. So we are flying to Gino uh, where are we going? <laughs> Uh, Gino Girona, Girona, Costa Brava. Uh, that was our departure today. So nice departure out of Warsaw, and we're on our Sid and heading down towards hopefully warmer weather. 13 degrees there, uh, just uh, above Barcelona. So where are we? Oh, standard pressure. There we go. Just past 20,000 feet. It's actually quite nice down there. Scenery. And we can also get rid of all the lights. <laughs> there we are. Seat belts and auto. And they can move around. So we'll be heading to. We're going to head. We're heading towards Slovakia at the moment, I think. Yeah, just uh, we're still in Poland, obviously. We'll cross over into the Czech Republic. Beautiful. <laughs> nice clear skies today. What? No. No doors open? Door. Sure.
There we go. So 45 nautical miles, still top of climb. Approaching 33,000 feet. Right. <clears throat> <clears throat> A 
approaching our cruise, 36,000 feet. That's where we are right now. We're going to be crossing into the Czech Republic and then into Austria, top of Italy, a bit of France, and then down into Girona. Thirty-five thousand feet. We got a bit of a headwind, eighty-one knots. There we have the altitude oral. A bit of panel lighting on. We like a bit of panel lighting. There we Uh, can we 
Okay. Okay. Okay, let's have a moment. What do I think? 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 What do I think
We got a fuel, so 732 till top of drop. We got a fuel pump that we need to switch off, and the other one will switch. Come on in a minute as well. Oh, 
Okay, two seconds. I need to just take a phone call. Ah, let's leave you with that view. Be right back. Thank you. 
Alrighty. I'm back, sorry, I had to do a, a uh, phone call, one of my customers, all sorted, nothing to worry about, there we go. Okay. Oh, a lot of air traffic today. Look at that. Four aircraft in the in the sky today. There's one in front of us. Got to be another one coming towards us. Wow. Why am I getting stuttering again? Apparently we've got something right in front of us, have we? Let's come in a bit. Oh, there he is. Okay, yeah, that's fine. He's uh, down the side of us. Apparently, we are flying over the Czech Republic and we'll be entering Austria very, very shortly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. Kill 
Dino, hello sir, how are you? Hopefully we'll get to the uh, landing site before your bedtime today. <laughs> We're flying to Girona. My Girona. Yep, that's uh, a place in uh, just above Barcelona. You're not well. What's up? It can't be the cold, surely. We got minus seven this morning when I woke up. I'm good, man. I'm good. Ah. Yeah, I hope you, uh, I hope you get better. Probably a good, a good night's sleep is, uh, always helpful. We're flying a lot today. Thank you, sir. Yep, mate. Ducking and diving, bobbing and weaving, staying out of trouble. Um, yeah. In this day and age, you gotta you gotta keep well, mate. A hundred aircraft Boeing order. It's not the uh, Air India thing, is it? So Singapore Airlines bought a massive stake in Air India. Singapore Airlines, Air India. So Air India, so if Singapore Airlines buys a 25.1 stake in Air India, ah, it was an American carrier, who would that be? Boeing needs that, I'll tell you. United. United. United have bought a hundred Boeing Dreamliners, or they're placing an order at, for at least. Hold on, wait a second, wait a second. Although there's a conflicting news that Delta is buying a hundred Boeing 737 Max. Seriously, they want to buy the uh, aircraft that has the problem? <laughs> or had a problem? But yeah, 21 hours ago, or yeah, 21 hours ago, United placed this order for 200 Boeing planes. Uh, let's see, what did they buy? 787 Dreamliners in a deal that will increase, a, has the possibility to increase the 200 jets, replacing their 767s and 777s. Uh, 
Interesting. I suppose they've already got, you know, the Boeing tooling and everything, you know, so it just makes sense. Um, it's very difficult for an airliner to completely change their maintenance um, process, their whole methodology from uh, one from Boeing, say, to Airbus. It's very, very difficult or and very expensive to do that. Because you've got to train, you've got to retrain all the engineers and um, parts lists and keep inventory, you know. Not easy once you've been, when, since you went, when you've been flying a Boeing or Boeings for such a long time. And I'm sure they'll get them at a good deal. Boeing needs this. Otherwise, Boeing is going to be uh, it's going to go the go the way of Motorola, for example. I wonder if FSLTL still causes stutters. Let's see, FSLTL. Uh, FPS, let's have a look. Or stutter. And see if people are still complaining. Wow, there's a whole lot of aircraft around though. Look at that, that's all FSLTL. I think I should tweak my FSLTL. Or maybe I should start flying on Vatsim. I think that's what I'm going to do, start flying right, on Vatsim. It's been a long while since I've flown on Vatsim.
So top of descent, 570 nautical miles. Yeah, I know. I've been looking at uh, what is it nice? What is the price down there? I've been looking at the 7900 XTX, to be honest. Uh, I think once it's released, I'll wait and just check the reviews. But that could be an alternative to the 4000 series. I already have AMD GPU and motherboard. Um, but maybe it's uh, the way to go. What's the price down there? When is it being released? That's the thing, though. It hasn't been released here yet. XTX release date. 33855535. 33855535. 1800 yeah, it still hasn't come in yet I'm still waiting for this price but I think this could be interesting it could be interesting Let's see what happens. Watch the reviews. No price as yet in the UK. Well, I'm seeing in the US, I mean, if I look at the US in the US pricing, they're talking about $900 for the um, the AMD uh, XTX. What am I seeing? So, price. Uh, they're talking about $999 and $899. US dollars. Tech advisor, let's have a look. The cost. MSRP is look you're looking at it says $999. In the UK, we expect it to cost around £999. Okay. 
Okay, hold on. Let me just check a mail. Wow, look at that down there. We're in Austria. That's the Alps. Got to be. Yep. Yeah. Those are the, Aus the Austrian Alps. We're heading into the top of Italy. Look at that. Look at that, we can feel the turbulence coming up off the mountains. It's bobbing my nose up and down, eh? Ah, Microsoft Flight Sim. It's significantly lower, isn't it? I mean, it's going average on the 79 at 57 and the 4090 at 92. And the power isn't much different. I mean, the 4090 still seems to kick it out, uh, kick it a bit, doesn't it? I might just end up going for the 3090. Watch the price drop. 
I might just go for the 3090. I mean, you know what? My 2070 runs okay. All right, and I'm thinking the 3090 can't be that bad. All depends on the pricing, right? I mean, I don't get stutter all the time, but surely the 30, 3090 will definitely improve it a bit. I mean, how, how, how much more graphic do you need? There also, there's also that question, right? Eventually, then you end up getting bottlenecked by your CPU as well. It's a never-ending uh, scenario, right? And to be fair, to be fair, I've got settings turned down in this, but uh, I mean, I'm sure you can't notice that I've turned down settings. I think it still looks crisp. And I'm not on a 4K monitor. I'm on a 1080p monitor. And I'm sure if I took these settings that I have and stuck a 3090 or a 3080, into my uh, into my case, it would just be it will be slick, I think. Especially based on the pricing these days. I mean, you're looking at over two grand for a 4090, close to two grand. Why would I do that? And give it six months and the 5000 series will come out. So there's the Alps down below. We're at uh, the northern part of Italy, I reckon. Oh no, we're still in Austria. We're still in Austria. Sir, 
Bear 1, climbing through flight level 110 for 130. Twilight, they didn't want to know, climb level 240, proceed direct to Enlon. Directed 240, direct Enlon, Twilight 801. Well, I'm going to go make myself a cup of coffee. I have that coffee feeling. I'm going to make myself a cup. Be right back. Ik 
757, present speed at the maximum, and fly direct to Emerald. Emerald direct, uh, 320 indicated, we'll keep that, okay, then, uh, 757. Alright. Oh, good night, mate. Catch you in the morning.
402 nautical miles. Indonesia 089er, climb flight level Thank you, 107 Victor. Call approach on Bamba Niner, that's on 055. Goodbye. 19055, Sky 107 Victor. Goodbye. Okay. 
73, Gold School Dish, 121325. Delta 
Russia for officer, right turn on navigation to Amozu. Right to Amozu, right to Amozu. Okay, 285. Okay. Okay. 
So there is top of descent. Who's that? My, <laughs> I did that already. <laughs> My Girona. <laughs> Yeah, that was the first thing that came to my mind when I flew to this airport. <laughs> Gordo, hello. How are you? I hope you're well. So we left, uh, we left Warsaw Chopin and we're heading to Girona. Um, oh, doing okay. It's quiet today. Like, no one is streaming. No one. It is so quiet. Must be, uh, must be because it's Wednesday. But I wanted to do this flight, so I thought, why not? So we're going over the northern part of Italy right now, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, so that's where we are right now. There we are. We're heading towards Genoa. And then we're going to Girona, which is just north of uh, Barcelona. So yeah, not so bad. No, no, it's good. I got I got another window open. I got a bit of work on as well, so I'm just doing a bit of work as well. Um, but yeah, it's good. We're in the lot airline today. In Polish Airlines. How do you say, why do you say, well, why would it be Polish? We don't use shoe Polish to shine our shoes, do we? <laughs> there we go, Polish, Polish Airlines, lot. There we go. So we've got 246 nautical miles to a top of drop. Yeah, no, I I work. I mean, I I get up early because my team's in Asia, so they're ahead of me. So I can get them. They're about seven hours ahead of me. So I wake up early. I uh, get work done. And then it leaves the most of the day for me, you know. So that's good. But today I have some of the guys in Dubai who are wanting some stuff done. So I have to just... I'm working on that really slowly. Yeah, so they were always a day ahead of you then, weren't they? How did you communicate with them in Vietnam? They don't speak English so well in Vietnam. And if they do, they have a very strong um, accent. I find that, I found that a lot. I mean, I went to, I've been to Vietnam so many times. And sometimes I could never understand their English accent. But to be to be fair, to be fair, they couldn't understand my English accent either. <laughs> you know. Straight <laughs> <laughs> 
It was mostly text. Yeah, so text is not so bad. But um, yeah, communicating vocally, it's uh, it can get definitely a lot of stuff gets lost in translation. So you always have to sort of think one step ahead, and uh, you know, and don't make any assumptions about what they mean. Always question. Question it twice. <laughs> I mean, so many times, you know, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> yes, I understand everything you're saying. But when we're speaking in software code, then it's really easy. Everyone speaks the same language. So 220 nautical miles, the top of drop, we've already put in the localizer frequencies, 109.9, and we're still in, we're still in Italy, heading towards the south of France, uh, towards Nice. Good morning, radar contact, third from Atari to Boston. Now for American 
Climb to find level 380. Well, zero climbing level at 380. So, 135 checking up level 380 during the tune-up. Copy 135 today, radar contact, copy time restriction, cross position, summit, time 1040 or later, not before time 1040. 1040 or later, Delta 135. Right now we're estimating 1041. 4-1, copy. Motley, hello. Six three six. Yes, airplane six three six. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Contact that one three. It's been very, very quiet today. One three one one five zero. People popping in, popping out. No one is actually streaming. Any or none of my guys are streaming on on Twitch either. Ah, watching from work. I've got an anima Amazon parcel arriving in three stops. So I might have to just disappear for a little. Um, just to, otherwise I won't hear the doorbell. And they're like bloody ninjas, man, these Amazon drivers. You don't see them. They walk up to the door and then they disappear so fast. And then there's a little note that says, you know, package left with neighbor. I mean, they're like special ops, they are. So what's my top of descent? My top of descent is 180 nautical miles. Okay, that should be fine. We should be good. So just give me two seconds and I'll be right back. A uh, couple of minutes, yeah? I'll be right back. American uh, 134. 
four heavy, and we're just looking for a ride report. You got anybody uh, up at three seven zero? Yeah, we're here at 35. Getting pretty good uh, chop now for about the last 10 minutes. Just wondering if you do anything better for us. American 134, I'm going ahead at 37, and that is the first report I've had at any level. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, if we could put it on request, we'll go up and give you another report up there, too, if we could try it. American 134, right there, stand by one. Okay, I'm just uh, going to be looking out the window and when they uh, come up the drive So, what do we got? We got um, one fifty five nautical miles. Okay, ATC clears November eight off with my decimal nine zero for the crossing. Thank you. Just to give you a bit of reading room, uh, we spoke to Shamrock and your, your restriction hours to cross the center and not later than time 1038. Uh, Roger then, not later than 1038. At the moment we are looking at 1037, uh, at FEMA, KNL 31. Thanks for the update. That's fine. Oh, here they come. I'll be right back. Okay, they have arrived. Hotel India, one zero five of course, zero just knocks on the door, leaves it on the doormat, and then runs away. Incredible. I mean, you know, you could quite easily just say, no, it wasn't there. Call Amazon, say it wasn't there, and they're forced to give you another one. There's no proof, is there? Hello, KLM 623, flight level 380 approaching EBOX. KLM 623, good day, identified. Your code NIBOX and Venner, use the time restriction to cross Venner, not the four time 1059er, 59er or later. No, literally they, and that doesn't matter, I mean, even if they take the picture, he can literally, I mean, they could take a picture and pick up the parcel and take it back with them, couldn't they? Uh, it wouldn't, that wouldn't, uh, yeah, that wouldn't work here. I mean, I don't care if you got a picture of the parcel on my front door. I don't give a shit. 
I mean, um, yeah, doesn't matter. Unless they got me a hold in the parcel in my hands with my my face in the picture, or, or at least, you know, or it's not my face, but at least something that rec that identifies me, whether it's my shoes or whatever, I don't know. But, uh, or the door is open, then yeah, that makes sense. But to leave it... And the other one is what? Leave it in a safe place. I've heard of them leaving it in the garbage bins. <clears throat> and we've got a postal strike. So we have postal strike now. Um, I think they started yesterday or maybe today. I don't know. But um, yeah, we've got postal strikes. We've got rail strikes. We've got the nurses going on strike tomorrow. And then we've got baggage handlers and our border force, the immigration at airports going on strike just before Christmas. It's all falling apart. So now they're calling in the army to do some of the work. Yep. So they've given the army like three or four days training on how to identify and, and check passports. Uh, the army is going to be d driving ambulances. Um, I don't think they're driving trains. The unions won't let them do that, I'm sure. Um, and that's it, yeah. Post... Yeah, the postal service is on strike. That's okay. I'm all right with that. That means no bills, right? <laughs> Oops. No bills. But yep, the uh, the current government has really screwed things up. And they're at that they're you know they're at that thing where they are ignoring everything, hoping it just goes away. Who do we have around? Anyone I recognize? <coughs> nope. So where are we? 116 nautical miles. So we have to go down to 2,500. So let's set that 2,500. There we go, 2,500. <clears throat> and there's our top of descent right there. So that is our uh, arrival. Right there. We are here heading towards Saint Tropez. And then we will go over the Mediterranean into Liege, Girona. My, 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 Girona. There we go. So 2,500 at the Maltese Cross, or at the, uh, yeah. And then we have a decision height of, uh, we'll do 722. 
Seven two two, that'll be good. Atlanta three eight six and identified your cured from at Dogal Jungle. Dogal the Stumble, uh Mamba three eight six. Nice cloud cover there. Eighty five, Nora Commands. So we have to uh, exit on the runway. Exit left. Okay, and there's a single American medium gate. But we'll go to the ramp. Thank 
Seventy nautical miles. So we've crossed over Marseille. Oh no, we're still we're heading towards Marseille. Let's see, do we see anything? Uh, down on the ground. Not really. Too much cloud cover. Bit of land, but Marseille is over there. And then we head across the Mediterranean towards Spain. <coughs> That's where we are. Marseille should be down there. There's Marseille. Good afternoon. Okay, heading towards, so we're over the med now, there's uh, Marseille behind us. The Q&H is 1004 and we have a transition of 8,000 feet, transition level. 
Top of descent will just appear now. We should be landing with a slight crosswind. Yep, right to left. Thirty miles. Four nautical miles. Oh, no to come out.
Nice weather here though. It's been very clear. There we go. And three nautical miles, and we'll start our descent. Okay, descent has started. Throttles are retarding. Drag required already, really. Okay. And we're starting our descent. Our first constraint that we have is flight level 10,000. Okay. Here we are. So 10,000 there and then 3,600 there. Give us a minute for an update. 
Yeah, it does it well, doesn't it? it does, but the Phoenix does the same as well. The Phoenix is also quite good. Actually, to be fair, they all do it quite well. Even the A310 does it quite well. But I do find the A310 is a mix of uh, Boeing, is a mix of Boeing and um, Airbus. Imagine when we get the triple seven. That's just going to be. Oh, I'm going to be lining up for that one. I tell you. A true long haul aircraft that is. I mean, the A310 is nice and all, but um, we would it'd be really nice. Uh, to have a real long haul like the triple seven in Microsoft, the seven four seven is terrible. In uh, the Asobo seven four seven is terrible. So we really don't have much in terms of long haul at all, unless you fly the DC six. But that'll just take you forever to get anywhere. I think the Zebo was quite nice, wasn't it? The Zebo in X plane. Yeah, the Zebo. I remember. I mean, I have X plane eleven, but I only installed it for a week and never installed it again. Because then I realised all that ortho and everything, it just takes forever to make it look any good, any decent. <clears throat> or maybe I just wasn't, I didn't pay, I didn't pay, spend too much time on it. Um, so yeah, so I have uh, x -Pain 11. Okay, 19,000 feet. So we've got to be at flight level 10. We should be good there, I think. Our descent profile looks okay. BGR is 30 nautical miles away, so we should drop 8,000, 9,000 feet in 30 miles, I think. We're about 58 foot high on the VDEV. We can see that there. And we can see that there. 3.5 terabytes of ortho. Oof. But that's the thing, you know, you've got to have so much. I mean, I've got 11 terabytes on this on this case. Um, a couple of terabytes, that's free, but... I just don't want it sitting there with a bunch of ortho I don't use.
Yeah, we're gonna definitely make that. We're already at 16,000 feet. 10,000 is where we want to be. And then we're going to desell to 220 at Banal. Okay, good. So let's do this now. Uh, index, in it ref. And uh, we will go 132. So it's 137. Steep descent after BGR. Okay. And that is to get down to the 3600, I believe it is. Let's see, Banal, no, 4,500. Yeah, 4,500. At Banal. Uh, let's click on the data. There we are. So now it gives me better constraints. So 4,500. We'll be there by one minute past four, Zulu. 15.53 right now, three minutes to BGR. And there's the mainland, that is Spain. VDEV is spot on, we are. There we are. Okay, we can clear that message. Okay, ten thousand feet. Okay, let's uh, put on some sea belts. There we go, and we can put uh, let's put taxi lights, runway lights. There we go. They don't come on till the aircraft's on the ground anyway. And runway lights on at our discretion. Here we are, that's good. And perfectly on our constraint of 10,000 feet. And 1556, 1556 is when we arrive at the waypoint. There we are. A Spain. There we are, Spain. Barcelona that way. France over there. And this is Spain. Okay.
above 4,500 will be there in three minutes, four minutes. MSEP, hello. I am good. How are you, my friend? How are you? How are you? We're just arriving in Girona. No flying today? No! No! <laughs> I want Morocco to win! I mean, yeah, I'm not a fan of Morocco, but I think France has to be taught a lesson. <laughs> I mean, imagine! Imagine! If Morocco beats France, yeah, okay, yes, but imagine, imagine Morocco in a final. It'll be a bank holiday for the rest of their lives if they win the final, that would be strange. Okay, standard pressure, we are what? What was our q and It was... Um, one zero zero four. One zero zero four. There we are. I mean, they have to be quite confident. I would have to say. I mean, I think Morocco has to be quite confident. And no, you know, no disrespect to Morocco. I think, I mean, I think they've done very well to get this far. For France, it is, it's about saving face. They are the current world champions. And if so, they'll be the first, I think, it'll be the first time they've kept it, right? Or, so yeah, this will be interesting. I think um, the streets, the streets are going to be, the streets are going to be empty in France today, huh? But my friend, he was in uh, in Paris uh, two days ago, and he says that the police, the police are all over Champs Elysees at the moment, huh? Okay, let's go. Speed intervention. And bring the speed down. Let's bring the speed down. To 220. Yeah, I heard that the police are everywhere. <laughs> because of the fans are getting a bit... Uh, they're misbehaving a little bit. Okay, let's uh, select the approach. Okay. <coughs> and we have, what do we have? We have all of it. The glide slope and everything is done. Good. Okay. Let's bring our speed down. There we go, and bring our speed down to 200, and let's get this puppy slowed down real quick. I'm only 9, okay, drop the gear, I'm only 9 nautical miles, damn, let's bring this down, okay, there we are, landing gear is down on the speed brakes. Runway is in sight. There is the runway. Okay, flaps. 10, 15.
Come on, slow it down. Why isn't it slowing down? Let's slow down one thirty seven. There we go. And wraps down. <coughs> okay. And forty. There we go. Okay. I have the plane. One thousand. There we go. Okay. Four There we go. Okay. No, what was my landing rate? 194, that's okay. That was all right. Flaps up. I'm assuming there's a way out the end here. I switched off my fly live landing thing. I switched that off already. I'm using Sim Toolkit Pro, so so that uh, takes care of my landing rates. So what you're seeing is landing rate from Sim Toolkit Pro. So this is Girona. Welcome. Apparently we've got um, GSX. We've got one gate with uh, a gate nine, apparently. So hold on a second. Let me just uh, get off the runway. You like that shot, do you? What about that shot? That's nice. <laughs> okay. There we are. My, 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 dear Rona. There we go, we are here. Who sang that song? Was it the Knacks or something, wasn't it? Uh, okay, let's see. Um, all right. What's my tonight's predictions? Uh, five, 
Five one to Morocco. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, parking gate nine. Parking gate nine. I don't know, man. It's I. It's hard to call it, dude. Available soon. What the hell? Is there someone on that? Let's go to parking. Tested position is already assigned to another aircraft. I want to get it. Yes, I do. Let's see what happens. No. Uh, we will use. Who shall we use? Let's use Iberia. Iberia. I mean, it's going to be a hell of a match. I mean, this is um, it's historical, man. But in all in all seriousness, I think France will take it, and it will be a France Argentina final, and Argentina will win. Oh, did I say that loud? <laughs> Emsep, I love you, dude. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> it is. It's all games, mate. Oh, custard. Everyone turns up now, don't they? Everyone starts rolling in when I'm about to end the stream. Why is that? How's that shot, Arctic? Is that nice? Okay, let's uh, switch off landing lights. There we go. And taxi is on. Okay, good. Oh, nearly seven months, mate. Seven months. Okay, where are we going? We're going in here. And there's supposed to be a ramp somewhere here. But, okay, let's see. So this is Girona MK Studios, right? Yeah, MK Studios. Oh, a little bit of stata, a little bit of stata. I said Girona Costa Brava. Sounds like a coffee, doesn't it? Uh, this is MK Studios, yes. Uh, we are going to go down here. Uh, no, I didn't get Doha yet. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. Where the hell is the gate 9? It's supposed to be a, a gate, a proper gate. So it's not a proper gate. Okay. That's a shame. It does show like a, a proper gate in. So we're going to change that. We're going to gate 5. We're going to gate 5. Uh, change parking facility. Parking gate 5. That's where we're going. Request follow me. Yes. No. <laughs> okay. We're going Iberia again. And there we are. There's gate 5 in front of us. Right there. Okay. <coughs> I might gate Doha, actually. That'll complete the Middle East, pretty much, I think. There we go. I mean, I will be in Doha in, in a couple of weeks. And there we go.
There we go. A bit too far. But that's fine. Okay, alright, alright. Let's have a look at that. Oh, uh, that's okay. Cut engines, alright. Parking brake is on. And, uh, oh, I didn't get the... Uh, let's just put the uh, menu and uh, get the ground services in, shall we? I forgot to put the APU on. I was so engrossed by my landing. It did snow in the UK this morning, no. But it was minus seven today. There we go. And let's cut engines. Oh, ground power. On. On. And let's cut the engines. One and two. There we go. Okay. Uh, get rid of the lights. There we go. I know that should be off before. Um, we have ground power, your damper, fuel pumps can all go off. There we are. Electrics off, window heat off. And uh, Bob. And that can go open, packs off, packs off. <coughs> and uh, we can go to steady and off and logo can come on. FSFO, Flight Sim First Officer, or what is that? I don't know. And uh, we are good, PCAS can go. Oh, I don't know what it is. I just assumed that's what it was. I have no idea what it is. I just uh, guessed. Really? Flight Sim First Officer? Wow. Seriously. I literally made that up. Let's have a look. Isn't that like Pushback Assistant or whatever it's called? Um... Uh, what is it called? FS to crew. Okay, there we are. That is all done. We can also get rid of the nav and uh, start the deboarding. Request deboarding. Operate stairs. Okay, staircases are coming in. Here we go and request deboarding. The boarding requested. Passengers bus is coming. Okay, and there we are. <clears throat> we are good. Everything is good. And we are done. There's the I don't know what that is. Fuel truck, really? Okay. Everything is off, seatbelt off, and we are good to go. All right, guys. We are done. <clears throat> we are done. So, welcome to Girona. Can we take a quick look around at Girona? Um... Oh, it's quite a basic airport, eh? Yeah, it is very basic. I don't know what the fuss was about. Anyway. Good. Alright, I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you, everyone. Go Morocco. Um... <laughs> I think it's going to be a great game tonight.
I think it's going to be a great game tonight, and I think I think France will take it. Um, I think they will take it, and um, yeah, don't know. More. Uh, am I doing another stream later? Uh, as of now, no. Um, because I've got a Christmas fair to go to tonight, so uh, at the school. So um, I, I, I think I'll be. I don't know when I'll be back from that. But anyway, I will catch you all on the next one. Probably tomorrow. Tomorrow I will definitely do something. Yes, tomorrow. No, no, tomorrow, mate. Tomorrow. I will be streaming tomorrow. Okay. Anyway. I will, uh, yeah, and for the results, no problem. I will message you on Discord, okay? If if Morocco win, <laughs> I'm not going to be quiet. <laughs> all right, all right, my boy, all right, my guys, take care, and I will see you all very, very soon. Stay safe, and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.